we are here in our corn area and we are showing you our MK6410 BIP. We have just uh, sprayed uh, the grasses here maybe uh, a week ago and you can see they have uh, dried up. We have uh, already applied this one with the uh, fertilizer so as you can see the uh, leaves are greener and they are going thicker. I hope that uh, this week the irrigation uh, canal will be having uh, water so that we can irrigate this one. If there is no water pump irrigation, we will go in to use a water pump to irrigate this, this uh, corn. So as you can see, uh, there are some weeds that are not uh, eradicated or killed by that combination of uh, silhouette, sulfate, and glyphosate. <laughs> this one is resistant. Uh, it's 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 uh, very hard to uh, kill this one, but uh, if I will going to add all mix to that solution, that one will be eradicated. But uh, I'm not yet uh, sure if the uh, corn is resistant to that all mix. I haven't used it, so don't use it. If uh, you are only uh, spraying it to clean up the weeds without uh, vegetation or without corn, without uh, rice, you can use it. But with corn, with, with vegetables, don't use it. I cannot recommend because that is so strong. It will eradicate all weeds that can be uh, contact or touched or sprayed with that solution. So, uh, as I can see, uh, the little ones can be affected, like this one. They are affected by that solution. But the bigger ones uh, are not, uh, they are fruit, they are uh, resistant already. Uh, they cannot be killed, like what I have shown you uh, a while ago. Hello, welcome to Take Pop Up, the Smart Learner Channel we educate intelligent farmers and provide effective solutions to your problems. Gumagamit po ba kayo ng maraming inorganic fertilizer? Asidik din po ba ang inyong lupain? Mabagal bang lumaki ang inyong mga halaman? Panahon na po para pagandahin at pababain yung paggamit ng inorganic fertilizer. Kayo po na nag organic pwede po ninyong gamitin ito. Kayo po na natatakot sa mga insecticide, natatakot sa mga uh, iba't iba pang mga chemical na inilalagay sa halaman, pwede po sa inyo ito. Tayo po ay gumagamit ng probiotics o itong lactobacillus lactic acid. Ito po ay nagpapaganda o binabalik niya yung ganda ng lupa. Binubulok po niya ng madalas o mabilis yung mga uh, pwedeng bulokin sa lupa kagaya ng mga dahon yung mga rice straw kung ano pang mga pwedeng uh, maging uh, pataba sa inyong lupa pinapabilis po nito ang pagbubulok at ang ginagawa po niya ay yung mga binubulok po ay ginagawa po niyang amino acid na yung amino acid ay uh, nagtataglay ng nitrogen at ang nitrogen ay nagpapaganda sa ating halaman para ito ay mabilis lumaki at magaganda malalaki po ang bunga so subukan po ninyo itong ating probiotics itong ating 3K fertilizer at para gumanda ang inyong halaman at may balik yung dating matabang lupa so we are here to find out to check whether this BIP is uh, a real uh, a real uh, evidence that uh, it cannot be affected by pole armyworm or uh, it is a variety that can be trusted when it comes to uh, the fall armyworm problem. So as, as I can see uh, going around checking the uh, this area I have no I, I can I cannot see 
a plant that is affected by fall armyworm. Oh, uh, this part is greener already. So what I have done here is uh, before I irrigate this one, uh, maybe about uh, like this in um, in in growth. So here, there are some part here that is affected by fall armyworm. This is the NK6410 BIP that I have shown you earlier in our video. So there are some plant, but uh, I think that's normal. In the past, uh, during the time that uh, we, uh, the the repeat seeds are still available, you can see a situation like that. So I think that's that's normal here and another one that is uh, affected by fall armyworm so we're going to spray this one with the uh, tricky fertilizer uh, ana -a, power grower heavy weight tandem and that silhouette so there's no need to apply prebaton uh, delta king and embezidin here so, as I can see, the, 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 the plant that are affected by pole armyworm is only little, only few. So, it's not a problem anymore. So, this is the new NK6410 BIP. Now, maybe uh, a week from now or a week from now it will be applied with uh, the last fertilizer so in case that uh, the supply of irrigation arrived uh, and it will be ready if you have uh, uh, corn like this and situation like this you can follow our procedure and as we have said that uh, our procedure is guaranteed it will make your harvest more and income bigger so this procedure and direction had already uh, proven three years and uh, in that three years our income becomes bigger it goes high instead of coming down the price are coming down uh, sometimes up and down because of the supply uh, this is the situation of supply and demand but still if you have nice corn more harvest sure that, that it is sure that your income will become high even though it is a little bit adjustment in the price like what uh, i did last year uh, the price that I have last year is uh, a little bit lower but still uh, I have a surplus in my income so those, for those of you who, uh, who are discouraged who are uh, uh, sometimes bankrupt because of the uh, the mismanagement sometimes it, uh, you have that complete uh, amount or uh, supply of fertilizer but you have not uh, you have not uh, applied it in time so now uh, do it again try it again don't stop because if you stop you will fail you will lose so follow what I'm doing uh, be motivated with, ad, with what I'm uh, telling I'm telling you a story that is already done to me a story that uh, maybe it will, it will inspire you it will motivate you it will give you strength it will let you move so that's why I'm showing you our practices I'm showing you our direction so that maybe somehow it could help you it could make you it, it could supply you with strength with inspiration so uh, not like when i was starting 
uh, I do not have someone, an ally, a friend who can help me. But I keep on searching, I keep on reading, I keep on trying, and I keep on doing all the things that I could uh, see will help me until I reach this situation, until I have come up to this uh, result. So that's why I, I know that uh, farming is hard, so that's why I'm telling it, I'm sharing it to other farmers. So it's my uh, mission to help other farmers, so that's why I'm sharing you this one. So don't be sad whenever you fail. Don't feel bad whenever you uh, uh, encounter problems. That's normal. If you could, if, if you will not meet them, you will not become strong. You will not become uh, that uh, a good farmer. So becoming a good farmer, you must pass a lot of problem. You must pat, pass a lot of failure. You must pass a lot of challenges. And when you have passed through them, and that's the way you'll start to go up. You'll start to have more income. You'll start to have uh, a better life. So don't give up. Don't uh, stop. Keep on going. Keep on moving. And stand as you fall down. So I hope this video will help you, will motivate you, will inspire you. So, good luck, uh, come again, uh, and watch the, the next video that we're going to have. So, happy farming, and God bless everyone.